In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight options infographic slide design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created kind of a, a paper with the holes on both the sides and then the shadow of it. And you can see some different color combination here. So when I click, it will show you the option one along with the detailed text. So when I click, it will show me the option one, the step one, the step two, three, four, five, step six seven and eight similarly i've created one more slide where i've added only four options here you can see here you can just add any text of your choice please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose this rectangle, draw a small rectangle, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and then make sure to align center, align middle. And then one area of this particular uh, from the top uh, rectangle, the square shape or rectangle, I'm going to cut it. So go to the insert shapes, select the whole shape, just click it here. And this much I would like to cut. You can see here the one which is highlighting. So let me just give some different color so you can understand. So this area I'm going to cut it. All right. So for this, I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select this oval shape, merge shape and make it a subtract. So it looks something like this. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, which looks like kind of a paper, which is cut from both the ends. For that, I'm going to insert one more shape, which is the whole shape. Just click it here, give some different color, shape outline, no outline. Then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select this trapezoid, draw a small trapezoid like this rotate i'm going to make it rotate right 90 degrees give the same color no outline and i'm going to bring this closer now what i'm going to do is looks kind of a keyhole you can see here so for now i'm going to make this as a curved all right so right mouse click edit point and you can see the small points just drag this down here also drag this down and here also make it more inside so it looks something kind of like this okay let me just make it all right reduce the size a little bit yeah so it looks something like this so now i'm going to select both of the shapes all right go to the shape format merge shape and make it union so now i'm going to reduce the size or a small size and i'm going to put it here you can see here let me just zoom in I'm going to put it like this so make sure that this the end part should be outside of this rectangle okay area make do not put put like this or like this okay touching make it somewhat it's going beyond this area so I'm moving it down okay all right so now I think this looks more bigger still I have to reduce the size yeah okay so now hold the control shift key and bring this down you can see here hold the key and bring it down you can see here and one more at the last and these spaces are not equal here so i'm going to select all these shapes go to the shape format align and say distribute vertically equal spaces have been given and then press ctrl g to group it Hold the control shift key and drag it towards the right and then rotate it. I'm going to rotate flip horizontal. All right. And then both this one I'm going to select and press control shift G or you can just right mouse click group and ungroup also. Okay. So once this is done, I'm going to select all the objects, go to the shape format, merge shapes and make it fragment. All right, and then I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete this. So it looks kind of a paper. So now let me just go and give some different color here and later on I'm going to change. Now I'm going to connect this with the help of a line. So go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose the line, draw a line from this end to this end. You can see here. 
all right so now this color i'm going to make this as a gray color and hold the control shift key and add it to each you can see here this shape all right and this color i'm going to give a kind of a light yellow color so this color you can see here it is not visible though so anyway so now let me just select all the objects press ctrl g to group it because it is not visible now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a shadow effect for that go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rectangle shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to the format shape and i'm going to give the color as black increase the transparency level to maybe 50 percent go to the effects under soft edges increase the size here all right and then send this to back so you can see here now the paper design is it's visible all right you can just go and increase the transparency level further so it looks something like this and then go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw or rectangle exactly on the top of this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice and send this to back so it looks something like this so here i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d reduce the width okay a little bit width and then i'm going to put it here all right so it looks something like this all right so this one as well as this one i'm going to select and press ctrl g to group it the next thing is i'm going to add the step here so I go to insert text box and i'm going to say step enter zero one center align make it bold or you can use open sans extra bold font increase the size make the font color to white all right then go to insert icons you can insert the icons of your choice so here i'm just going to choose some random icon so click select the icon click insert reduce the size to maybe 0.6 and put it exactly in the center all right then here you can add the title and some detailed text okay so i'm just going to say title again make it bold center align put it here and then go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets one i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete some of it center align reduce the font size to maybe 12 and put it here all right you can see here just align it properly yeah so you can see here i have added this text and the title the icon everything is done so now the next thing is i'm going to duplicate this before duplicating let me just group this one this and this shape press ctrl g to group it and then this one the title and the detail text press ctrl g to group it why am i doing is because i would like to uh, do a uh, animation and you can see here this is much more darker you can reduce the size and uh, the color to more lighter you can see here it looks more light color so now i'm going to select this one and press f4 key to repeat you don't need to do again one by one okay you can see here let me just move a little bit for a while shape outline the same color it's very light color you can see here because the color which i have used is was very dark and the text was not readable yeah this is this looks much more better so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape move it aside and then i'm going to duplicate this hold the ctrl shift key this is the second one the third one and the fourth one so you can see here and if you want you can just duplicate at the bottom also so before that one i'm going to select this and send this to back okay so this is my step two this is my step three and this is my step four and to change the icon i'm going to select this shape 
go to the graphic format change graphics from icon and you can just choose any icon of your choice i'm going to select this one click insert right similarly you can just change the color also color i'm going to give a kind of a purple here and here also the same color then i'm coming here i'm giving a kind of uh, this color actually sorry pink and this is a purple so the same and then here i'm giving a kind of uh, this greenish yellow color all right so you can see here we have got the step step sorry step one two three four and then the icons the title and the detailed text so now it's time to do the animation so close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane so here the first one what i'm i can choose there are many different options animations effects are there so go to the add animations more intense effects so here i can just give anything maybe a stretch stretch click ok stretch it should happen from bottom it comes something like this all right and here the similar for this also so let me just group this one i think it's already grouped right yeah it's already grouped so for this also i'm going to add the same animation stretch click ok now this one stretch should be from top and this should happen with previous okay so if i play it comes something like this so now with the help of the animation painter i can just simply uh, add the animation here sorry again this with this yeah so now again this one copy here and then this one copy it here and this to the step four and the text that's it so if i play step one step two step three and step four as i mentioned if you want you can just duplicate this one and bring it down also so for example i'm going to bring this at the top hold the control shift key and bring it at the bottom also okay so is the problem is the size is a big so that's the reason it is not fitting but you can adjust it the height and then you can move it a top a little bit yeah okay so it looks something like this so depending on the requirement you can adjust the size and do the animations as you like